morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. Welcome to my lunch break. First and foremost, I got sunnies. You, you didn't already see in my previous video. Got these from a yard sale. I'm almost certain that they're women's sunglasses. Decorations right here in the corners, but I just needed a little knife or something. I will pop them off or color them black. Smith makes pretty decent optics and they were 50 cents from a yard sale. So that was good. So I'm gonna go over some things that I've learned this week. Kind of let everyone know how I'm doing. Pretty much living in the van full time or whatever, I'm working and then going to the gym and then going to the van to sleep. I'm really spending only like eight or nine hours in the van sleeping and then waking up. It's it's been proven okay. I think I'm at like 25 days in a row. It's already more than paid for itself. I'm gonna pretty much see how long I can do it before I go crazy. The job I'm working, if you don't already know, I'm a freelance pharmacist. I was originally planning on staying out here till about October and I just recently found out I might be freeloading out here until February. Don't really know yet. That's what it sounds like. The job is great. The staff is amazing. Amazing, best job ever. The location is a little, Oh, location is good too, but it's far away from an airport. So getting down to Phoenix is like a four and a half hour drive. Getting to Las Vegas is like a four and a half, five hour drive. Getting to an airport to fly somewhere else. I don't like being more than like an hour and a half to like two hours away from an airport for ease of travel. June, I have a lot of travel plans coming up. If you guys already saw, my check engine light went on in my car. So I'm driving out into the middle of the desert with a check engine light, not fun. But the uh, check engine light just magically turned itself back off. So we did hit 100,000 miles on the van. It's not exploded yet. The van's been great in every aspect other than that check engine light scare that I had a couple days ago. That's it, everything else has been good. So three things that I learned over the last week or so. Number one is Unimog. I have never heard of a Unimog, but I saw one in a parking lot of a van life or a traveler from South Africa and they have driven all over the world. They had a map on the side of it and I had no idea what kind of vehicle this was. I showed a picture of it to someone at work. They were like, oh, that's a Unimog. So I looked up Unimog. Unimog is a like, heavy duty vehicle that all wheel drive or even six wheel drive sometimes. And it's used for emergency transport, moving cargo, traveling in like super desolate bush places where like off-roading, huge amount of clearance, humongous tires. And I think they were made in like the 50s and 60s up until maybe even modern day today, I don't know. It is a specific type of vehicle. Pretty common in Australia. I think Mercedes and Freightliner are like some of the makes of them. It's just a type of vehicle that I never knew of. So yeah, Unimog. If you haven't already seen my Hoodoos video, I put a link to it in the corner. I check out the mushroom toadstool Hoodoos in Utah. Hoodoo is a natural occurring structure where it's like a sandstone base and then, then there's a piece of ore or something on the top where it erodes and creates this Hoodoo natural occurring architecture and it has a name, it's called a hoodoo. Another descriptive word for things that I've been seeing I've never heard is a carn. And I actually learned that in the comments this morning from Bob the Rungum. Carn, kyrn, I think is what it's called. And that's when people stack rocks in a certain way to mean something. And a lot of the times it was used back in the day for like borders and trail marking. I think like pastures, other things like that. But modern days, people build these carns. Hippies like to build these carns in the middle of trails. Even though it's not a trail marker, they just like to build them in the middle of trails. So it's disrupting the way that the rocks are supposed to fall. People are, are stacking rock for fun to be a hippie, I don't know. But I've seen people blasting them and throwing them, knocking them down on Instagram. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be carn hunting if they are not supposed to be there. It's a fun way to be a little destructive on the trail with a purpose of integrity. Trail preservation, so we're gonna do that. That's what I learned, what else? If you guys remember the bag that I bought in Fort Myers, bought it for five, it was made out of leather, I bought it with my nephew. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. This might be worth about a hundred bucks. It's pretty sick. Avertech, something like that. And it sold. It was like the only item I listed when I got back from Dubai when I was in Florida before I came out to Arizona. I listed it for $199 and it sold for $199. It was a really, really cool bag. Leather with patches and yeah. Bags the bucks has been paying off. I'm gonna be shipping these out today, I think. Today is in the day you see this video. So you can mount them to your truck bed. I appreciate that. I don't really have a lot of camping gear out here, but I did find a camping mat at a thrift store for $3. So I'm gonna be using this, doing some backcountry camping. I will have a uh, sleeping mat. 
I got a brother label printer. This was a brother QL 6500 TD. This was $2 from a thrift store. I picked this up. I didn't even look it up. Hopefully it's worth some money. A uh, high flow GE filter. This was also $2. And I think this goes for like 35 or 39 on Amazon. That was a good find. Picked up a lot of vintage stamps, like old school stamps. Wood block with metal. A lot of them are like designs or like says to and from. Some of them, have, I know nothing about these. I paid five for the whole box. I listed them up on eBay for 100 or best offer. We'll see what happens. And I also got Eris Surfboard S, uh, SB6141 Doxus 3.0 modem. This is uh, this is probably gonna deserve a video on its own just because it's like a really good tip of saving money is just by getting one of these yourself. So I will put out a video on this. I will have a video coming out about this. That video will allow first dibs on this as well. This was $3. Ran into some wildlife over the weekend. I saw a couple lizards while I was out hiking, walking, whatever. I did a little bit more off-road camping instead of parking lot camping. It's kind of fun because I could eventually have like a fire pit or something. I'm now reading Swiss Family Robinson. I'm about a chapter into it. It's pretty good so far. It's getting my adventure on, especially being out here doing the adventure hiking kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, thanks everybody for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Any questions or encouraging comments, I'd love to hear them. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye. And I almost forgot the most important thing, the Flagstaff meetup. Do not forget the Flagstaff meetup. If you're in the Phoenix or surrounding areas, we're gonna be meeting up in Flagstaff at the Savers at 10.30 on May 26th, Saturday. May 26, 10.30 a.m. If you're in the Flagstaff or surrounding areas, uh, come thrift a different city. It's fun. We're going to grab some lunch, and you can check out the van. It'll be fun. I'll see you guys there. Bye.